Welcome back everyone to yet another episode and in today's video we'll be taking a quick look at a showcase of not one, not two, but three pairs of Carlos Santos shoes exclusively for the Noble shoe. Coming up! How's it going my friends? I hope everything is good. We're back with more shoe content. Uh, we've been pumping out the content uh, over the last few weeks uh, with a lot of shoes and also cl some clothes. And last week uh, we had uh, an amazing video with my first collaboration group made to order with Norman Villalta, which you can find in the channel or in the link in the description. And today I'm going to ride the group made to order trains a bit more because these three pairs that you see right here they are part of a live group made to order right now that I'm doing with the Noble Shoe and I thought it was a perfect opportunity for me to do a quick showcase and show you to you these three models that are currently available and I'm not going to talk too much about them but I am going to show them to you so you get a feel, a close-up and talk about the model, the lasts, uh, etc. and after the close-up we're going to talk about sizing, availability and anything else you might need to know. So without further ado so let's go quickly into the in-depth close-up. So welcome to the close-up and because too many shoes, uh, too little screen, we're gonna talk about them individually and quickly. So the first model that we have here is a beautiful pair from Carlos Santos Goodyear main range and it's a double monk boot with a plain toe and I feel that you know this was inspired by James Bond and the classic Crockett and Jones Camberley uh, which uh, was really really difficult to get and exclusive to their own web store. It's in black and he wore it in uh, in some kind of movies. I, I don't remember if it was Skyfall or the next one, but it was really popular and I got a lot of questions asking if I can get it. So, you know, if I can't get it, why not make my own and just make it better? So overall the design is a bit more uh, modern, I would say. Uh, it has a beautiful shape on the toe. This is the 387 last, which is a nice soft square, and you can see it from the back as well. And for just a main range product to have such a nice, beautiful chisel tape like a uh, last, it's uh, actually incredible. And uh, this model comes with you know double buckles and uh, ankle height, and of course a plain toe. I, I think it helps it look a bit elongated and nice. Of course, classic Goodyear welted construction and it's finished in two colors. I only have one to show you here. Uh, first of all, we have the wine shadow, which as you can see is a gorgeous color mix of a bit of red and brown hues with a beautifully burnished toe and real for the price point. So this is wine shadow and it also will come in black calf. So not a patina, just regular black calf. Uh, I think that one will be also very popular. This is a nice, tasteful design, ankle boot, uh, a bit of like a chaka boot in the in the ankle. Nice back seam at the back, uh, you know, nice, uh, a little bit more beveled waist here. Uh, classic Goodyear construction, beautiful patina and an excellent last. So this will come from the main range uh, in uh, wine shadow, patina and also black calf. And let's move on to the next one. Moving on with the second pair, which is also very, very unique. And at first glance, it's just a two eyelet derby. But if you look closely, it does have what we call, an, it's an austerity brogue. So it has the broguing, the, you know, the wingtip W example here, but it's not broged, so there are no holes. It's just stitched. It's like a faux stitching to give this look. And of course, still on the 387 last, beautiful and as you can spot there are some differences in the sole because this is from the hundred collection with a, a sole that is more advanced and has a closed channel so that you don't see the stitching and also also hand patinated and hand painted this model is quite uh, minimalist with just a touch of you know elegance and some unique features uh, again beautiful toe shape uh, with burnish it at the front and this color is dark burgundy we call it Bordeaux shadow and I think it's perfect for this particular model uh, there are a few details for example at the seams at the back uh, or you know the overall austerity broke design 
that makes it a little bit more unique. I really like this model. Uh, it brings something new to the table. You know, it's not just your regular derby and helps you upgrade your collection if you're looking for a little bit more oomph. Let's move on. Lastly, we got one of my favorites. I've been trying to experiment a lot lately with uh, colored suede and from uh, the beginning I saw some navy suede uh, uh, split toe derbies and then some forest green suede samples. I am like, okay, I know what to make now. So I decided to make these. These are Chelsea boots, your classic Chelsea boots. This is a different model, not the pointed one that I have in the shop. And it has, comes with a beautiful short nap durable suede from Charles F. Steed with uh, what we call a, a forest green color. Uh, maybe it appears a little more blue in, inside like the camera lens, but it's really nice dark green. And it has a rounder toe, as you can see, right here. And it also has a very nice storm world here because it's more proper for winter and autumn and maybe some spring. And of course a commando sold by Vibram. So it's not Dynite, this is Vibram. It's nice, it's lightweight, it's comfortable, it's great. And as far as the last goes, this is called the 453. If I'm not mistaken, it's a medium round toe. And just like all the other three, uh, like all three models, uh, they would fit you true to size. You don't have to size down half. This is a very nice comfy boot and due to the color, it's very easy to match. It's honestly just simple. It's just a Chelsea boot, plain toe. Uh, the more interesting features are the color of the actual leather. And of course the chunkier, more uh, interesting sole. You know, there's a lot of inspiration using Commando soles these days and people seem to like them very much. I really like how this one turned out and I hope you will like it too. Of course, all shoes come with uh, their appropriate Carlos Santos box and uh, shoe bags and of course a uh, shoehorn. And that's about it my friends. Uh, I think I've covered everything and I kept it short and it's time to move on. And that was it. Three different models, three exciting opportunities and three completely different things than what I usually have in the shop. Uh, the whole idea with Groupmate Orders is to try and innovate and bring something unique or take a, an existing design and try to create something new. Uh, this was the case with the Norman Villalta pair that I currently have on the shop, but also uh, we are pushing the boundaries with something different as well. Uh, for example, as we said, the double monks here were inspired by my inability and the scarcity of the James Bond uh, Crockett and Jones Camberley, uh, and that's why I also offer them in black. Uh, but I took the design and honestly, I think these look better. Uh, when, when was the last time you heard about an austerity brogue two eyelet derby, uh, for example, and forest green suede with uh, like Chelsea boots with a storm welt and commando sole, those are already unique and frankly, they look amazing. So these are the three pairs that I wanted to showcase to you. Uh, as far as availability, of course, you will find them only at The Noble Shoe. I will leave all the links in the description uh, or you can simply visit the website and go to the group made to order page in the menu. And depending on their construction and some other small details, all models have a slightly different price point. So they will be available for about two more weeks. Uh, when you go into the product page, you can see the timer saying, let's say two weeks remaining, 14 days remaining, and you can just place your order. And usually uh, after the conclusion of the group made to order, it takes about three months, sometimes four, sometimes faster, but I would say an average of three months to receive your order. And now let's talk about pricing. Uh, generally, because these boots and these boots come from the main collection of Goodyear welted of Carlos Santos, their pricing should be around the same. So it would be around 340 to 350 euros, which currently is about 340, 350 US maybe. It depends on the you know, fluctuating exchange rate that's going on right now. Uh, but I would say around 340 to 350. So you know, a fair price for a regular uh, range type of boot, not just shoe. And this is final for those two. And then we talk about this one, which is a little more special as I showed you. 
Uh, this particular model is from the hang rate line, so it does cost a little more. And at the current exchange rate, you should be able to find it around 410, 420 US dollars, most likely. And all of them should be delivered around, I would say, October preliminary. October, maximum November, that you should all have them. Uh, particularly, I really like, actually, I really like all of them. Uh, I really like, I have a soft spot for monk boots. Uh, but these are very, very unique and actually this is my pair. I'm very, very excited to wear them when the, you know, autumn and winter season comes. And I hope you really, really like them as well, now that you see them in real life. And that pretty much concludes what I had to show you today. A nice, quick, uh, concise video uh, about these three models that will be available for a little while more. Uh, if they turn out to be successful, I might bring them into the shop again, but later. And uh, I'm, I'm already starting to prepare and think about what I'm going to bring next spring, because that's what we do. Uh, we do it like six months in advance. Uh, very excited, very happy with how they turned out. Uh, you know, it's very nice to see, to have an idea and flesh it out and actually see it in reality and be like, mm, I actually like this. And uh, of course, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content or you want to support, uh, check out the Noble Shoe uh, or just subscribe, leave a like, press the notifications, leave a comment with your thoughts and uh, I will see you in the next video. But before we go, I still have a bad dad joke to tell. So today I have an existential question for you. If you witness a crime in the Apple Store, does that make you an eyewitness? <laughs> hmm. Let me think about that while I contemplate my life <laughs> and my dad jokes. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye.